So today doing a unboxing of some cast iron salt and pepper mills. Uh, these are made in the UK by a small company and uh, they were shipped to Australia. Um, not the quickest shipping with uh, 2021 COVID shipping delays, but uh, it's here now. I have opened this box already to check for any damage, um, but they're all fine, uh, packaged quite nicely. So go ahead and uh, start unboxing it. So we'll start off with a funnel here sitting on the top. So this is where you'd funnel your salt crystals or your pepper seeds uh, down into the grinders themselves. Nicely branded there, nice touch. So I got the, uh, obviously one salt and one pepper mill. So here they are, they come in very nice sturdy boxes. I'll unbox whichever one this one is. Foam uh, inserts on the on the uh, top there to protect it. Wow! Now these are cast iron, so they are quite weighty. It's almost like you're picking up a, a gold bar. But um, this one is the uh, anthracite color, which is the uh, whitest color currently on offer, and it is quite weighty. I'd say. Oh geez, I don't know how heavy it would be, but um, yeah, it's it just reeks of quality. You've got a little rubber bung here, uh, and that's where the uh, let me get the funnel. That's where the funnel would go into to fill up. And I'm not sure if there's enough light to see the grinding mechanism in there. Um, but as salt is a corrosive, it's been uh, treated as such to prevent corrosion from occurring. So. And there's the adjustable grind settings on the bottom there. Swiss made grinder mechanism in there. And these are the body is cast iron. Very nice handles, very weighty feel, and very smooth uh, grinding action. So I'll put that one back in there. Silica desiccant can come out while that goes in. And I'll put that back on. There's some uh, writing there, you can have a read of that if you'd like, made in Britain. So I really support this mission here, which is to put an end to increasingly prevalent throwaway nature of modern products, uh, f specifically designed our mills with a focus on quality and longevity. And there's the uh, socials if you want to have a look. Made in Britain, printed right there, fantastic. Uh, I believe the guy uh, who started the company, who is also named Guy, uh, on his website, he said he was a Rolls-Royce engineer, so you can really sort of see that carry through with the, the attention to details here and the quality and fit and finish of all the parts. This is a pigeon mill, pigeon colour mill, which is a blue colour. Um, just went for something different than the usual black, which they do offer. Um, and there's another rubber bung and as this is labeled with pepper uh, there's no treatment on the bottom there so this one will be fine same uh, Swiss grinding mechanism I believe and it looks like it has hardware that can be um, removed and uh, replaced with parts that I believe he currently offers on his website or will be eventually offering as he's just started production and uh, 2021 so uh, he said he will be giving good part support for quite some time now so but I imagine these things will be um, quite robust for quite some time uh, but yes very weighty and uh, very nicely designed I think these look great on the table but um, as an optional extra I did opt for the cast iron mill rests so being cast iron they are quite weighty and they will um, tend to inflict damage on anything they come into contact with as they are quite heavy so while the mills themselves are indestructible uh, the same can't be said for tables and whatnot so uh, you can optionally order a mill rest which will just protect the um, table on which it's situated and it's got some nice rubber feet but it is also actually made out of cast iron so I'll leave it at that for this unboxing and I'll give a link to um, where you can buy these in the description. Thanks.